I'm not trying to go back and forth with her. That's dead. $300 play sets. Let me show you what my play set looked like. In the dishwasher. The lease agreement on file has an end date of September 12th. A few moments later. You left your lease way before it's expiring. Your lease expires in March of next year. My lease doesn't end in March, it ends in September. Do I look like I'm recovering off of four honey pouches? I am. I be posting on YouTube still and then I realize like you haven't actually picked up your camera in a minute. And I'd be like, what do you mean? Like you literally posted last week. Like she was in Texas almost a month ago. And that was the last time you picked up your camera. Zoom out, zoom out. Get back, like, oh. Why I bruise my face? Can y'all see it or am I just being a baby? Can y'all see the bruise on my face? My brain moves faster than my actual body, if that makes sense. So like, I'll do something and I feel like I'll do it like the flash, but that whole time, no girl, you're moving like precious. Mm -hmm. I was going in my car and I was going to like, get something out and go back in the car real quick and like grab something again. I go in the car, I go to go back, boom! The door was closing. So like, I couldn't just slip back in the door like, you know, like how I thought I could. And I just, and Salem was like, baby, you have to move slower, like one thing at a time. And it reminded me of my dad because my dad literally always says that like, daughter, one thing at a time. Anyway, welcome back to my channel today. I am back with another video. Today is story time Sunday. Now y'all, today's video is long overdue. I was supposed to give y'all this story time months ago. Like, not even months ago, weeks ago. I recorded this video twice. I just ended up putting it on a back burner because of the fact that I started getting really frustrated. And my camera started doing some weird shit where it would film and I would have like a whole part and then randomly my camera would get hot and then just turn off. And when my camera would get hot and turn off, my camera would not save any of that memory. So it happened twice, right before I left for Texas, and I was crying. Like, when I tell you guys, I was boo-hooing. Like, I was so frustrated. I was just running to my spam, like, oh my god. Like, it feels like every single time I'm on top of YouTube, like, I'm doing my big one. It all, something always happens. Because when it first happened, it was like, okay, this is just a video. It's cool. I filmed another one already. So I was like, you know what? It's cool. The second time it happened, I actually had, like, three hours till I was supposed to be in the airport. But I was like, you know what? I want to grind. I want to give y'all this video. I went out last night and I wasn't even gonna film. I was like, you know what? I'm not posting on Sunday. Like, I don't even care. But then I realized you up. I went out early. I came home around like 12. Okay, now let's get into the story because it's 7.53 and I want to see if I can get this video out to y'all by at least 4 o'clock. So yeah. As I get older, you know how like you realize things that you ignored because it wasn't that big of a deal kind of start making sense as you get older and start realizing like, oh, you're actually a human. Like, that's me. Like, a lot of times I'd be like, damn. Okay, that makes sense. Like, it would make sense why I was feeling like that. The apartment journey and where finding an apartment all began is when I left college. So when I left college, first off, I was looking for apartments in college. If y'all know, I went to college for one semester and I hated it. Not only did I hate it because I did not like sharing a room, I also too felt like it was taken away from like my, my social media that I really wanted to pursue at that time. It wasn't even the work. Like, I know a lot of people get that shit misconstrued. Like, oh, the work was too much. Like, no, it wasn't even the work. Yeah, I would have hard days where I was like struggling and stuff, but like, no, it was really the living situation delivering space the fact that i literally wanted to die yeah like it took a toll <sighs> clear it up hey y'all y'all miss me so i started looking for apartments started looking for apartments but i ended up meeting salem when i met salem he had his own apartment so it was like okay i basically have a new apartment because salem gave me the key to his apartment probably like y'all remember that covid test that i posted in the last one and it was supposed to be a pregnancy test i got the out of y'all that had covid so after i got recovered from that sickness i ended up getting a key from salem's apartment so i was like you know what like this is honestly amazing when i had met salem it was kind of like okay i'm able to be in rhode island all the time i'm able to never be home so that's what we was doing but as we grew in our relationship it was like okay like it, i want my own apartment now my best friend was starting her new college and she was going to be in jersey so around my birthday me and my best friend had went apartment touring and we was looking for apartments around Jersey. So I was telling my mom this and my mom was kind of like, you're not moving to Jersey. Like, you're not moving to Jersey. I don't care, you're not moving to Jersey, blah, blah, blah. So I kind of was like, um, okay, like me and my best friend, like we really, really, really wanted to move in with each other. And my mom was like, no, like you're not moving in with her. And like basically our parents kind of got in our head about the situation. Like they was making it worse for us than we know would have been like, me and my best friend do not argue like me and Shade are like two peas in a pod feel me we don't argue about nothing and it has been like that since we were what seven I met the 
when I was seven, I'm 20, so 13 years, we had three arguments and it, none of them was about nothing. Like, it was literally about nothing. We always laughed every single time after. Like, it was not even blocking or nothing. Like, we don't have that toxic friendship, sorry. Me and Shadi was looking for apartments, but everybody had ultimately ended up getting in our head and telling us like, you don't want to do that. You don't want to move in with her because you already know like, she gonna have her boyfriend. Shadi had her boyfriend too at the time. So it was kind of like, oh, she gonna have her boyfriend. You gonna have your boyfriend. Y'all not gonna want to have y'all boyfriends in each other's space. And like, it never gave that. Like, we would have had both our boyfriends in the same space. Two men, two men, two men. Like, old time, you feel me? Like, when we had toured apartments, we had found one that we really, really, really liked. And at this time, like, I knew I could afford rent. And I, me and Shadi had our financial agreement on the apartment. And we know we wasn't breaking out. Like, that's one thing I respect about her and she respect about me. We're very financially okay and smart. And we are honest about it. So it was never an issue. So I had applied for that apartment. But because I didn't... Um, have my tax information from my business account yet because I had just opened my business account even though that's where all my money was going. I didn't file my taxes for my business account yet because I opened up my business account after tax season. So the lady kept trying to tell me like, you need to show like proof of income, proof of income, proof of income. And I'm like, this is my proof of income. Like, what do you not under get? Like, what do you not understand, girl? I am literally influencer. Like, this is my proof of income. Like, what? Like, she was literally pissing me off. Me and Shadi ended up getting declined from that apartment. And at this point, it was so late and she had to go into school soon because she was going to um, get an apartment instead of dorming where she was just like, you know what, bro, I'm going to have to dorm. So she ended up dorming and I basically was on this journey of apartment hunting all over again by myself so i was basically um just looking around now in connecticut and i was telling my mom like about the process and she's like oh if you get an apartment in connecticut like ricky i'll co-sign for you i just don't want you to be in a situation where where you're up in an apartment blah, blah blah and i was just like girl at this point i just feel like you don't want me to move out because you know parents be having like the like one thing about my mom she don't have my worst interest at heart that's never what i'd be trying to say about my mom it just be like can you just listen to me like that's what it give like can you just listen to me because if you listen to me and i listen to you we could come to an agreement instead of you just listening to yourself and then not listen to me that's how it kind of ended up happening one day i had seen this apartment i liked it it was in my budget and Salem's mom had flew down from Trinidad, but Salem was in Trinidad because he was going for his birthday. He was there from like September 1st to like September 30th, but I was going to be flying in on the 18th because I didn't want to go to Trinidad for a whole month. I only wanted to go to Trinidad for like the end of the month because, no. Salem's mom ended up coming to visit her family down here, which is crazy because it's literally like me and Salem's lives, lives ended up like intertwining like really weird his aunt that his mom comes to and sees is in Connecticut like this man probably knew nothing about Connecticut before me but then I realized like your aunt slash mom Loki is like right down the block from me like they're like off two exits away from me so so while Salem was in Trinidad me my mom and his mom ended up going on an apartment tour I just thought like oh this is like so cute I really like this apartment so when I have walked around the apartments now these are the do's and don'ts that I would say I up at personally and I'm willing to like admit that but remember it's a first time for everything and that's what I say when I say my mom as the person who does this shit, like you know what I mean like Salem's mom it's a total different ball game in Trinidad personally as I've been twice than here so it's not even like I'm looking for her like I was looking for my mom to like really point these things out to me but like this is what I mean I don't need you to kind of shut down the apartment to me I needed you to bring the things about the apartment that kind of should be like noted so these are things that i personally missed while in my apartment so if you're a first time apartment comer or shopper or whatever the f these are things that i think you should personally do so when i had went to tour the apartment i had went to the clubhouse and i let the amenities like gas my head i wanted a pool and i always mention how i feel like the one in the pool in the gym in my complex is such a childhood like thing because i used to see how like people have their own like pools and complexes and stuff and I always wanted that for myself like I always seen how my little cousin had a pool in their community and things of that sort and like some of my friends had like a pool in the backyard or a pool in their neighborhood and a gym in their neighborhood like I always wanted that especially like when I was in my 16 year old trying to be skinny ever like real heavy and I wanted a gym so bad I was like damn I just wish I had a complex so the amenities alone the clubhouse the gym and the pool I let that wow the out of me mind you that day i remember it was shining bright it was bright and blue i was excited i had my man's mom on me my mom on me shit like that so she tells me she's gonna bring me to the apartment it was a two bedroom two bath apartment we'll go into the apartment and these are the things that i missed that i should have been like mm, i don't like this the lighting when you go into the apartment i need you to turn on every single light in that apartment and see how well lit it is or how well lit it is because when i tell you i never turned on not one light in there except probably like the kitchen light and Mm, the 
maybe the bathroom light. Yeah, I would just say the bathroom light. Because of the fact that I had toured in the daytime, you know what I mean? In the summertime, daytime at that. So it's kind of like, it's bright outside, very bright outside. And the apartment was so well lit from the lighting inside. But then like when I was living there, I'll get into that. So I never turned on the lights in the apartment. I never watched like if the outlets were upside down. I knew what I wasn't looking for in the bathroom and it wasn't that. I wasn't looking for anything tile, anything that mold can get into the cracks because I've lived in apartments before. Like before living in a house, I was in apartments for but 15 years of my life so I know apartments especially New York apartments you know what I mean open up every single cabinet L like make sure you're looking for smells like anything that smells weird like you know what I mean turn on the furnace and off the furnace obviously I'm loud because it's a very big apartment I cannot lie y'all my apartment was huge like I had a two bedroom two bath two walk-in closets um the kitchen I had a whole kitchen I had a very big living room I had a washer dryer shit like that so the apartment was huge the apartment ended up like on the site I think it was like a month like 2500 and some change i was asking about like oh is utilities included and utilities were included in no way and when i meant in no way it was absolutely no way like i was paying a water bill a sewage bill a gas bill an electric bill like all of that so it was kind of like bro like okay whatever but i knew that i can afford it like even outside of salem the apartment cost was never the issue so it became an issue when you start realizing like the apartment's bullshit though like the two things though that i never liked about the apartment was the bathroom i did not like that the vents was connected to the light switch so like i'm a bitch who sometimes films in my bathroom so it'd be very annoying for me to like turn on the switch in the bathroom or turn on the light in the bathroom and then all you hear is <gasps> in the background because the vent came on like that shit was irritating but i was so over the apartment search because i had went through like four different apartments applied for them some of them was getting back to me some of them needed so much more proof some of them needed this that and third they wasn't in the place where my mom wanted it to be so she wasn't gonna try to co-sign for me it was just too much so my mom ended up being like you know what i'll co-sign an apartment for you if i like it so when we get in the apartment my mom was just shitting it and because she's shitting so hard i'm trying to like find the good in it like you know what i mean like my mom i feel like she should have approached the situation like keep in mind like this is a white washing machine like blah, 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 blah. like i feel like you could get an apartment with a better washing machine and you know my mom wasn't even doing that like she was just like this dirty ass washing machine white washing machine like ew no this shit old as fuck look at this old ass stove like blah. it was exactly that girl you just didn't want me to move out salem's mom was like it's cute i like it like she's mad she's so different my mom she's the calm one my mom is the ah you know what i mean like she's the ah. My mom's very loud. But like I said, I let the amenities, everything wow me more than the apartment itself. So I decided that I wanted the apartment. But they had told me that if I apply within the first like 24 to 48 hours of um, touring the apartment that I get like a discount. Like I think I got like the first month rent free or something like that. So I was like, okay, bet. So when I had got home, I was like to my mom, okay, like can you give me your information so you could be a co-signer? And she was like, um, actually, she ended up baiting. My mom ended up baiting. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do this shit by myself. So I ended up applying for it by myself and I got approved which was crazy I ended up getting approved I just told you guys that I was going to Trinidad on the 18th of September for Salem's birthday I ended up getting signing my lease on the 12th of September or the 13th of September one of them so I was like okay let me do 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 this do this do this do this do this and then I'm gonna like just fly to Trinidad and I'm gonna come back and then that's when it's gonna be like apartment mode this one I realized something is kind of fucked funky about this apartment when I have went inside the apartment I was bringing my stuff inside right I was like carrying my stuff from one place to one place like literally when i moved i had to move like majority of my shit out of salem's apartment like i did not even move half the stuff out of my house because i didn't use it no more it was like literally salem's apartment that i needed to move everything i was on the phone with he's and sade and i was just moving my stuff in and blah, blah blah and i had seen that there was water on the floor like i was looking at the floor in the kitchen and i'm like why is it so muddy and wet right here but i didn't think because of the fact mind you at this time i was heavily i was always high at this time like i'm not gonna lie i was always smacked like now that i think about it i was always smacked i'm always smacked now but i'd be smacked off i was like always eddie smacked back then and like all that stuff that day i was kind of just walking in like you know just moving my stuff in and i keep seeing wood on the floor and it's like muddy and stuff but the way that my apartment complex like went it would be like my apartment this little grass area parking spaces okay so this is a parking space grass area go into my apartment so my apartment was on the first floor and you could just go straight from the parking lot straight into my apartment off the, on the balcony and that's what i usually did so i assumed that the mud and like the watery mud even though it was no rain outside was from my shoes 
outside walking inside the apartment but it was like muddy like wet muddy like type shit so i was like mm, i don't know if that could be it but i just ignored it like honestly i was like it's probably me i just mopped that day and i just went about my business and also too i noticed that i was like tracking it so my foot like what was at the bottom of my shoe was what was like i could see the footprints of my shoe it wasn't even like it was just water seeping through like no i could see that the wetness is coming like when i step when i step when i step so for a while i just kept preying this and i was like you know what i thought it was that i was tracking water in um from outside fast forward again like maybe a couple days i'm preparing to leave for trinidad the first thing that kind of blew me about this apartment complex was the hospitality which i know nobody owed me nothing but like it gets to a point where it's like god damn like we all pay the same rent at the end of the day and it don't matter how old i am how young i am how old you are how many kids you got we all paying the same rent some way somehow feel me regardless if it's your pension bitch or if it's my youtube money so it's kind of like have some respect i it was only living in this apartment for a couple of days and I wasn't used to having a key. I wasn't used to having a lobby door that locks behind you. I was just used to having a pin pad in my house that beep, 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 beep. So before I was going to fly to Trinidad, it was like at this point, like 4 a.m. in the morning or something or 5 a.m. 4 a.m. in the morning ish. And my Uber had came. I had Uber to the airport. So I was like, you know what? This is my first out of the country flight. Like I want to make sure I have everything. I'm going to put my stuff in the car first and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to like, you know, make sure I have everything. So I put my luggage in the um, Uber and then when I had went to go back into the apartment, I had realized that I had locked myself out the lobby door. So all I needed was to get in the lobby. I can still get in my apartment. I just needed to get in the lobby. And at this point, it's like four or five in the morning. So I'm panicking because remember, like I said, I had a back door that I could go into. But prior to me, literally like five minutes prior to this, I had locked that door, put my car keys that had my spare key to get into this lobby door in my house bro everything is inside this apartment like literally even my phone i couldn't even call nobody i think i was even on the phone with keys at this time i'm ringing doorbells ringing doorbells and why the f these coming on the intercom talking about why are you ringing my doorbell so at this point i'm crying like i'm not even like bitch just let me in type shit i'm like i still remember what i was saying i was like please i live in apartment 214 i'm new to the neighborhood i'm new to the community i locked myself out i'm not used to having a key can you please just buzz me in like i'm about to miss my flight and i'm leaving for a flight right now can you please buzz me in this you can hear them when they're listening. She listened to the whole message and turned her mic off and just went in the house. Another person came, did the same thing to me. Another person, another person, another person. Then someone comes out and they start walking towards me. So I'm thinking like, oh my God, they finna whoop my ass. I can see this man. It's a black man. He's like, mama, like, and I'm like, I know I'm so sorry. Like, I have a flight. He's like, you, you can't be ringing my doorbell like that. I got kids. Mama, like, we got kids. And I'm like, I get it, but bro, can you just let me in? Like, I'm literally about to miss my flight. It was almost as if he missed everything I had to say. This man goes back inside his apartment. Goes back inside his apartment from his balcony. Close the door and does not let me in. So I continue to ring everybody's doorbell. Yes, everybody wake the fuck up. Like, I don't care. I need to make my fucking flight. And... Nobody let me in. But the one weird neighbor, which is, well, I don't know why you don't judge a book by a cover. Because he was always watching me like mad weird and I, it made me uncomfortable. So ultimately, he's the one who ended up opening the door for me that night. So I was like, thank you so much. Like, I'm so sorry. He was like, everybody's human. You make mistakes. It's okay. Like, just go have, have, go have a good trip. I was like, thank you so much. That was the first thing that kind of rubbed me the wrong way about this complex. Back to what I was saying about what happened in the kitchen. This night before the situation happened, um, I'm smacked off Eddie's. And I'm just packing my stuff. And, you know, I'm just ready for this flight so i'm walking through the kitchen i'm walking through the kitchen and i'm cleaning up at the same time when i'm cleaning up i'm mopping i have a mop in my hand and i'm high don't get me wrong i'm high as hell but i'm walking through the kitchen and i'm mopping the kitchen because i keep seeing water on the floor water on the floor in the kitchen and i'm like damn like this kitchen real wet like i need to give me a mat like damn i ain't never seen the kitchen floor this way you know she gets down she don't play as i like really like start realizing i'm like nah ricky you done mopped this floor five times mind you i'm smacked y'all gotta keep in mind that i am high i'm like like five times already you feel me why is the floor still wet you took off your shoes your feet still wet you put back on your shoes your feet still wet i'm just thinking like nah i ain't mop like i'm literally high like y'all have to keep this in mind so i'm like i'm tripping i go and lay down because that's how smacked i think i am i'm like you're tripping i get back up i start resuming i realize oh that's not what's going on what's going on is through the cracks of the floor in my kitchen water is seeping through so every time i step on the floor 
the water comes through the crack of the floor. I ended up telling Shadi like, oh, bitch, I just figured out. Like, I literally told her about this issue that I had, like, with the water in my kitchen. But I never thought to just, like, look deeply until I was just smacked. And I was like, nah, I'm not that hot, bro. I want you to pay attention to the floor because I'm not tweaking. I've been mopping this whole walkway, like, the whole time. Because I'm like, it's water on the floor. How? You see me mopping. You see me mopping. You see me mopping. Only right here it happened. Look. I'm about to walk back on it. I'm gonna push down on certain tiles and you're literally gonna see water just squeezing out. Do you see that? Do you see that? I'm not crazy, bro. I thought I was tripping. I was like, no. There's water coming out the floor. Like, look. I'm pushing to see where it would come out. I don't know if this is normal because they just put the floor in or something. But uh, look, even right here, when I push, like, see how I just swept all of this, mopped all of this and it's water back? After then, I just put in a um, request through my app because I thought like, oh, this is luxury. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you could just put it in through your phone and they come straight to your door and come fix the shit. No, you need to go in the fucking office and talk to them and tell them you've been requesting and they're not fixing. That was the first thing. I put in a request, went to Trinidad. In Trinidad, I get a notification saying that the work order was complete. So I'm like, okay, like they probably fixed it. I still wasn't really upset. I come home two weeks later, Come in my kitchen, I step on the floor, same thing. So I'm like, hmm. On top of that, I noticed that my dishwasher wasn't working. I would put stuff in the dishwasher and it's like my dishwasher would just have a burning smell. Nothing would be clean and it would just have a burning smell. Like you could smell the dishwasher when you opened it. It never smelled like soap, honestly, the whole entire year that I was there. And I switched between liquid and the pods. So I was like, maybe like the pods wouldn't dissolve at all. So I was like, okay, let me use the liquids, but neither did the liquid. Like, I don't know what was wrong with this dishwasher, but... I signed a 12-month lease right away. I don't know if I mentioned that. I never really used my dishwasher, but I kept putting work orders in for it to be fixed. It never got fixed. Eventually, the wash machine started acting fucked up. One day, the wash machine, I put clothes in there, and it wasn't even a heavy load. And I had noticed that there was, like, mad, y'all. Uh, it gives me the EBGBs. Like, I threw out so many of those clothes like all the underwear that was in there and stuff only my expensive hoodies i had to just rewatch my clothes like let's say this was a solid black it just gave like cheetah print all over the like clothes with this brown gunk like it just looked like brown little flakes so i'm like what the fuck is that i wash it again and it's more so i'm like um so i go to take my clothes at the wash machine because i'm like maybe there's like a brown piece of paper in there that like got you know mixed in why the fuck why the was the wash machine when i took the last load out the wash machine top like it was like the white wash machine you know with the with the thing in the middle like that spin i went to like take my clothes out the fucking thing just came out with it like and when it came out the mold and like all the gunk that was inside of that like tur i have to put a picture of like the frame i didn't even take a picture because that's how disgusted i was like i literally just ended up bleaching it out and shit but like when i had took it out it was like so much like old mold and wet clothes residue and all that stuff like it was so gross and i was just thinking like an apartment building is like really never as clean as you want it to be clearly you guys didn't get this video when you were supposed to get it but I just also want to mention, let me clear something up. I know people are going to be like, girl, you're supposed to clean your washing machine before. You no, bitch. The only reason I knew all of that was in there was because it was broken. Like, it wasn't spinning properly. And the reason it wasn't spinning properly is because of the mold. Like, that piece was never supposed to fly off the way it was. But since it did, I seen the harvest in there. <laughs> On top of that, my fridge wouldn't close for, like, two months. Like, it would have, like, a peak in there where I could tell it was making a difference in my, not only my fucking bill, but on top of that it was also making a very big difference with the food in my fridge like it was never as cold as it should be and i was just so disgusted but i ended up those were things that i was like i could probably like this is probably apartment lifestyle like at this point i'm just stressed i'm like this is apartment lifestyle so i just put the shit i cleaned the um thing i would bleach i bleached it i scrubbed it down you know what i mean and then i just put it back put it back ran the washing machine again got some washing machine um cleaner ran that and then after then i didn't see no more brown flakes on my shit so i was like okay cool but i still thought like mm. then my dryer started acting weird my dryer it literally required me to dry or run my clothes three times to get them dry it don't matter how big the load is it does not matter like obviously if the load is like a small load is gonna dry in like one and a half but one and a half sixty minutes very dry is not 
crazy. That's why I hated doing laundry. And when I started doing laundry for two people, it was like absolutely not. Even being in Key's apartment and seeing his washing machine, I was like, your washing machine is big as fuck. I'm comparing it to my shit. I'm like, my washing machine was little as fuck. Like, and then mind you, my rent being so expensive and Key's rent being just perfect for like him and what would have been amazing for me is kind of like, you're like, what? I might as well move to Texas and go do that. But y'all, I don't think Texas is for me. Like, I was, I was in um, Houston, and I don't think it's for me. I was putting work orders in for all this stuff, y'all. They not coming to fix it. Another thing, my stove did not work. Like, the back lights of my... No, the lights for all my stoves when I first moved in did not work. I would have to go in with the lighter. Imagine doing this on an apartment that ultimately, after utilities or fees that they claim i had a trash fee i had a water fee i had a sewer fee like literally i had an amenity fee every month an amenity fee for amenities that's broken what the fuck imagine you have to take a lighter like this is olden day and light your shit with the fucking lighter to get your stove started because it was a gas stove so you, i know how to light it a gas stove but the gas is coming out no the flame i i submit a request they're gonna tell me they did fix my um fridge that day i cannot lie to they, they fixed this they fixed my fridge they're gonna tell me oh yeah what's wrong is your stove light like has mad crust mind you this is only like a month and a half maybe two months max of living here so it wasn't me i have barely even cooked a meal in this bitch. ouch y'all i don't know what the is going on with my chain but it's like bending at the fold and it's just been so sharp and i need to take that shit off because it's just denting me in the finger i don't know if you're gonna be able to see that he gonna tell me oh yeah the crust in the back of your stove is mad crusty so the flame has no like it just can't get through because we need to go scrape off all that chart like that charred and shit so i'm like okay can you do it now oh i gotta come back another time and do that i don't got time today they never fixed that to the day i left to the day i left only the front, like, the right-hand stove turned on. Not even the sit next side. I would have to use a match. And I've never used all my stoves in that apartment because, I mean, all the furnaces in that apartment um, on the stove, so I never really gave a fuck. But, like, what do you mean the pilot, like, can't come on because it's so much crust and all the stuff in the back of my stove? Like, what? And I've only been living here for a month? What? The next thing that actually was a problem, like, I promise you, like, they, they just kept whacking me, whacking me, whacking me. Why during, like, October-ish, I remember Keys was here when this issue was still happening, and he could vouch for me. My water starts turning cold. Like, within five minutes, my water is cold. It would get cold within, like, five minutes. And I'm not a five-minute shower bitch. Feel me? So I put in a request. They come. They tell me they fixed it. Did not fix nothing. Same shit was happening. They come another time. This time they come with like three niggas. So I'm like, oh, so they must have known what was wrong the first time and just tried to lie their way out of it. They come with like three people down. Three men. I'm like, finally the issue is getting fixed. Just three niggas walking inside my apartment with their shoes on. Like, I will hope so. They go in my bathroom. They run in the water themselves. Salem's like trying to explain to them like what's going on. This man's like, oh yeah, we realized what's wrong. It's the belt in your da 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 they know what they talking about. I don't know what they talking about. Da -da -da -da. They was fixing something in my because the da -da -da was broken. Da -da -da. I'm like, okay, um, we could fix it. We just have to order the part. So I'm like, okay. That day, they no, no, no. Yeah, so that day, they said that they did a temporary fix. I don't know what the fuck that is. The next day, it was broken again. We didn't see them for another like two, three, four months. My water didn't get fixed until like March. Do you do you hear me? March. I have went in there multiple times. Eventually, you start adapting to it because it's kind of like either way, you gotta wash your ass. It's like you're gonna just get used to a lukewarm shower every day, a, a hot shower for five minutes, piping hot. You know what I mean? Then lukewarm. They finally came and fixed my shit in like March. March. March because March is when I remember started taking hot showers again, like hot piping hot showers. Them showers that had me feel like I was gonna drop. All these issues uh, over time was like really starting to piss me off. On top of that, the neighbors were like blowing my shit. One day I'm listening to my music in my apartment. Mind you, it's a normal time of the day. I used to live in an apartment, so I get it. It's kind of like you know, it's that community hospitality. Like you gonna need to not play your music down loud to the point where my house is jumping, but bitch, a Google Home ain't doing all of that. And that was the loudest thing I had in my house besides the TV, a Google Home. So, and it seemed like she always complained when it was the Google Home because when I had my shit loud on TV, she never said nothing. It was either Google Home or my car that she would always talk about. So I'm playing my music and she comes downstairs and she's like, hey, can you turn your music down? I, have, I work from home. I was like, oh, okay, no problem. I said, me too. When you upstairs and I'm recording a YouTube video and you're thumping with your big heavy foot ass, I don't send it to you, but I let her rock. I turned it down. Fine, you work from home. I'm in my car one day, coming home. 
It's like 3 p.m. Playing my music. She comes off her balcony. Like I said, we live, so my apartment building, parking spaces. It's the little grass, whatever. Balcony is my balcony. Balcony is her balcony, but it's not on grass. She's the floor above me, so she has a, you know, sky balcony. Balcony above her, balcony above them. You know what I mean? It was like four floors. So I'm in my car. She's on her balcony. I don't know. I'm just, you know, minding my business. And I look up and I see her on her balcony, but and I see her like doing like. So I'm ignoring the bitch. Cause I'm like, I like I generally sometimes, you know, when you're just doing your own thing, like you're just not even worried about like if this person is worried about you, if that makes sense. Like I wasn't thinking about her. Next thing you know, like five, ten minutes later, you just hear on my window. So I rolled down my window and I'm like, yeah. And I turn my music down. And she's like, good. Do you mind if you just turn on your music a little bit? Like I work from home and I was like, okay, me too. No problem. Roll my window up, left my music down because I'm not no ignorant ass y'all. Like, I promise you, I'll be getting it. But, like, it gets to a point where it's like, this is a Saturday. Why I can't play my music? Like, I'm playing my music again. Um, This is like March. I'm home by myself. I hear boom, 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 boom. I was having a hard morning, so I just decided to put on that white people shit. Like, it was, you know that white people sad shit? But this your jam. I heard stomping upstairs, like, boom, 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 boom. So I'm like, in New York, it's kind of normalized. Like, if your neighbor or whatever is being dumb loud or something, like, you just bang on the floor so they know to shut up. I'm an overthinker, so I was just like, just in case. Like, you know, but I'm not sure because that could be banging just from her. Like, I've heard this exact banging before when I was playing no music. So it's kind of like, oh, maybe she's doing something like, maybe they're doing a morning workout. Like, I know it's her and her man. So it's like, maybe they do like, you know, something. I was really genuinely trying to get the benefit of it out. Then around like 10, 9 a.m., like I'm asleep now because I had to go back to sleep. I hear banging like on my door again. So I'm like, okay, so I get up. Right when I was going to open the door, I heard like another boom, 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 boom. Like she's banging my shit down. So I open the door and she was like, hi. Um, yo, so this morning you were playing music like so loud to the point where I can hear every single lyric in the song. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, it was no it was no lyrics, girl. Like it was fine line, instrumental. Feel me? So I was like, oh, okay, no problem. And she was like, yeah, so can you keep it down? Like, we was woken up by it. I was like, okay, I apologize. Close the door again. Me and Salem taking a nap. I'm taking a nap. We ain't even doing that. We ain't even fucking, girl. You would think you could hear it. No, just taking a nap. Boom, 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 boom. Go to the door. Mind you, I heard it three times before I got up. It was like a boom, boom, boom. I'm like, is someone banging on my door? Is that my fucking door? That can't be my door. The way somebody banging on my shit. Like, uh uh. So I get up again, boom, boom. It's silent, so I'm like, okay. As I'm going to like turn the knob and open it, I see her going through the second door and she turns back around. And she's like, hi, is that you playing music? And I'm like, no, like what? Like that shit is irritating. No, it's not me playing the music. Like no, bitch. Like she's like, oh, I don't know if it was you or the neighbor. And I'm like, either way, it's 4 p.m. Like nobody gives a f Like you live in an apartment building. You're going to hear other people's stuff, other people's noise. Like it doesn't matter. It's a weekend. At 4 p.m., I don't give a fuck if it was me or the neighbors above you, bitch. You're not the only one who live here. Literally, you're not the only one who live here. You're not. I know she was so happy to see me leave because clearly she just need, like, a quiet community. Another time, Salem gets in an argument with this um, white lady. She gets in an argument with this white lady because there was reserved parking. Now, I got in an argument twice for reserved parking. Okay, so he was running home for two seconds, so he parked in the reserved parking really quickly, like, just to run, run in. So we was talking, I was doing my makeup. I didn't know he parked in reserved parking because, you know, I wasn't out there when he came in. We heard a honk. So we was like, okay. So Salem said, let me just make sure nobody's, um, need their spot. Go check. Just make sure. But I was going to go with him to work because then he was going to go somewhere after. So I'm just doing my makeup and then, like, literally just, let me just reactivate what happened. I don't give a fuck. I is a big man. Oh, yeah, take your ass in the house. Is that what I mean? The fuck? Oh, fuck. Egg the egg yell was shade. It was a stray. He don't sound like that. I don't even remember what he said for real. I was just trying to give y'all entertainment. He was like, who? Oh, all right. I don't give a f da, 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 da. So I'm like, oh, sh that's my f So I go out there and this lady's like, excuse me. Da, da, da. She's with her husband. So I'm like, what is going on? So she's like, your boyfriend is so disrespectful. So I'm like, how is my boyfriend so disrespectful? So Salem tells me when she honked, he came out and moved his car right away. So she's like looking at him like, oh, you're not even going to apologize. Blah, 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 blah. He like, it kind of gave you need to give me an apology type 
like a respectable apology but it's like him being like you know sorry moving out the way wasn't good enough for her it was giving like it's like she needed my man to write a hundred times each back in front on a piece of paper i'm sorry for parking in your parking space like it just does not give that uh, this video has been getting edited for like days y'all have seen me look at a thousand different ways like girl i got my nails done today Anyway, so basically the way my mom tried to word it, because I know some of y'all going to be in here like, I mean, if he parked in her parking space, what's wrong with saying sorry? No, it was a sorry already. But my mom stalked it down as they see that child young in this complex, so they feel like they could keep trying to beat y'all. Because I feel like as a grown ass woman, you don't look at no other grown ass man and be like, you're not even going to say sorry. You're not even going to give an apology and a respectable apology. Like you're not doing that. This is a grown man. Y'all not going to do that with no other grown white man. Like, just because he's a young black man don't mean he's supposed to get on his knees and be like, I'm so sorry, da, 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 da. And you don't say it like that. Like, it just gave, like, you feel entitled. It was so weird. I know exactly why Salem felt some type of way. And I feel like y'all would too. Like, sometimes you can really tell that someone's trying to talk down on you or talk to you like you're a child and not really just, like, you know it's no problem but can you try not to park in my parking space you know and they would have been like okay no problem sorry again about that you know that's what i feel like adults do not oh you're not even gonna say sorry it kind of gave like she talking to him like he a child like oh you're not even gonna apologize like he don't know how to apologize he did apologize he said i apologize he still kept that it's not like he came out mad as fuck that y'all feel a way that he's in y'all parking space it was more so like oh i apologize and you're looking at him with an attitude talking about oh you're not even gonna apologize up and down like he don't belong or something the whole time i rent probably more than yours like can you calm down like i don't know something about that was weird like you got your parking space you didn't have to go through nothing else and you're gonna look at somebody like that but my mom basically said it, it kind of gives like they was trying to like play y'all because they see that y'all young and y'all have y'all own thing going on and i really agreed with that because it was just given she was not gonna look no other white lady or white man in their face and look at them and say Oh, so you're not even going to apologize? You're not going to give a respectable apology? Like, he supposed to get down on his knees and say, I'm sorry. No. It was just, oh, I apologize. I'm sorry. Move your car real quick. Hope he going to walk in the house with a smile on his face. She being rude. Uh -uh. It was never about an apology. They make it so much weirder than it has to be. Because literally, as soon as I came outside, automatically I said to her, I'm sorry, man. We're running out, like, right now. So we parked in your park space. No problem. We're moved. Like, it won't happen again. I apologize. Literally that quickly. And I was like, babe, what happened? Like, before I even got the story, so she's like, your boyfriend's so freaking disrespectful, blah, blah, blah. And her husband's like, come on. Like, let's go, Sally. Like, damn. It ain't even that deep. Like, literally, her husband didn't even say nothing to Salem. And Salem literally told her, like, girl, shut the f up talking to me. Like, literally. See, her husband didn't say nothing. It's like that nigga wanted to say that to her. The next time that happened, it was with a black couple, which was very disappointing. And I actually have the footage on, uh, let me see if I can insert it, if I still have it. But, like, looking for all this footage is going to be a lot, y'all, because it's been, like, a minute. We and Salem was talking in the car, and his friend was pulling up because they was about to go to Rhode Island. So, I went straight in the house because I had to pee or something. So I didn't end up even speaking to his friend like I usually do. I'd be like, yo, what's up, Pete? Da, 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 you know? But I didn't end up speaking. I ended up just going straight in the house. So Salem stayed in the car as well. When Pete pulled up, I guess he didn't realize because there's like, the way that the reserve parking works, it either has it on the floor that says like reserve parking and like white paint or it has a little sign that's in between the bushes is the bushes is green it was summertime and the sign is white and green so it's like and the pole is like fucking gray so it's like it looked like a, you know what i mean it'll blend in i promise you it can blend in so it's not like it's like in the front no it's pushed behind the one that he was parking in so after they left or whatever i had went to the pool to just get like some pizza and just because they was having like a food truck and to smoke i was on live for a, a while that day too and then this older guy who sits on his porch he's black was like excuse me and i looked up at him i was smoking i was like yeah and he was like do you know anybody who by chance who will own this car so i was like i looked at the car and i seen a blue honda so at first i was like no and then i realized like oh shit, that's pete's car so i was like oh my fuck like i literally was like oh my god like because they're in rhode island they're two and a half hours away from here so it was like oh shit. and mind you pete back into the parking spot so that's even worse because maybe if he was pulling in he would have seen that but he backed in like you know what i mean he backed into the parking space where it's like he wouldn't even have seen that sign feel me he just seen an empty parking space just parked in it and that may be hot so it's just like so i was like oh my god i'm so sorry sorry i was very apologetic like i was like i promised the car like i would even told him i was like my boyfriend's in rhode island right now i promise this is his friend's car and we'll have a move just please do not tow the car like we will have it because they have the right to tow the car i was like i told him by the end of the evening we should have the car move basically and he was like okay no problem bitch 
he knew, like, he knew it was out of respect. I was like, that's not my car. Like, it's my boyfriend's friend car. Like, he doesn't live in this complex neither. So it's kind of, he probably was, you know, he probably didn't see it. Especially because, but she's like, yeah, I get it. We talking. We cool. This man is cooling. This black miserable bitch comes all out of nowhere off the porch. Like, so you already parking in my parking space. I pay every single fucking month for this parking space. And you parking in my parking space. Like, popping shit. So I'm like calm down with all that so at first i was like ma'am i already said to explain to your husband or whoever the f he is to you what happened so he's like babe and she's like no nah, so i pay for this parking space every fucking month and you coming i was like girl i don't give a f because i just want to emphasize that when she has said that she also to put an emphasis on how much she paid for the parking space but really clock the tea of like I don't care that you pay that because I was going to pay that and I could well off pay that and I could pay that now at 19 years old. You is grown. I don't care. And that's what I told her. I was like, oh, okay, I could pay for this parking space too. That's what I'm saying. It's like they kept trying to talk down. Oh, I pay my $200 for my reserve parking and y'all just come in and y'all not paying y'all's, but y'all come in and parking in mine. I'm like, oh, you making it seem like this parking space belongs to the queen. You is a black bitch from Danbury, Connecticut. At this point, now I'm turning up because it's just like, what? And I was like, I get it, but you're not about to keep yelling at me because I already explained to your husband what happened. Like I said, I wasn't aware, and my boyfriend is going to tell him, and he will move his car. Don't like me, but your boyfriend was with, hey, stop. Your boyfriend was with, I think y'all see me parking here every day. <laughs> I'm not trying to get frisky with you. Mind you, I only call, I was like, let me record this because I knew, like, I was like, I'm about to tell her come downstairs and fight. The I'm not trying to get frisky comes after the fact I had to stand up for myself and tell her, you're not going to, like, we literally have already, already gotten an argument by the time that she started being like, oh, I'm not trying to be frisky because she realized, like, oh, I'm, you're not about to little bitch me. You're not. But I'm heated. That's like you coming home from work and somebody in your spot. You would be mad. And I'm saying, I don't say that you have, a, but you're, you're very mad. I like the wrong person and I'm apologetic about it. So I'm not going to let you keep hounding. I wasn't home. I was not home. So why would I let him know? He doesn't live here. He's not aware. Like he probably just parked. Clearly he backed in. He probably wasn't even paying attention. Just seen an open spot. He does not live here. He parked his car. He'll be home in two hours and he will move. And I will let you know if you need me to let you know that the car is moved so you can have your spot back. But the car will probably be moved in within the next two and a half hours. I apologize. I'm not trying to go back and forth with her. Like, I'm, that's dead. All right. That's reasonable. All right. Have a nice evening. Because fuck is she talking to? She about to piss me off. Like, fuck out of here. And y'all, I know y'all going to be like, some of y'all going to be like, you can't have no attitude when it comes to other people because you can make mistakes. No, bitch, I'm going to have an attitude because you're not going to keep talking to me crazy. And I'm a person who's understanding. So when it comes to other people, it's no fucking reason why you acting like one park space is going to fuck up your whole day. Mind you, I'm looking at that car where they usually park. It's next to them. So you mad that you didn't get your reserved parking space, but you got the spot that's not reserved right next to it. Calm down. You know what I mean? It's one thing if you have to walk from building five to building two. No, bitch, you're here in the daytime and your car is parked right next to the parking space that you would have if my friend didn't accidentally park in your parking space. Like, what? You're doing the fuck most so i ended up telling her i post about this on my spam everything i was like you're not about to keep yelling at me and going off like F out of here like no like is dead like i really play calm especially because i'm high too so it's like i'm really not riled up or nothing but like let her have caught me on a worse day than that like what girl like so she ended up like when she realized i'm not but this little who you about to try a little girl she goes in the crib and her husband's still sitting there. He's like, thank you for that. Like, thank you. Thank you for keeping the respect. And I was like, yeah. That was that. Like, I moved the car or whatever. I was looking out, making sure she told me. I called my mom and she's dumped her. My mom was black and like, my mom was so mad, bro. My mom went to come up there and beat her ass. Mind you, my mom had also to have came and spoke to them and said, hello. Why they act like they didn't see my mom speaking? Hold on. Let me turn off my battery. It's dying. So ultimately, like, after um rent and all like all the bills together for that apartment, it was giving about, like, $3,000 a, a month for rent. After, like, the fees, the f***ing uh, electric bill, the gas bill, which is obviously up to me and how I use it and stuff like that. It was, like, that much. So it was kind of like, mm, you know what I mean? Like, it became better when me and Salem, like, officially started living together. It was like, okay, cool. But, like, it was also too, like, it wasn't even the bills it really wasn't even a bill so $36,000 is basically why well, after I spent my money for no reason like so basically I decided I'm not renewing my rent here like I don't want to live here also too like I noticed like ugh, I'll get into that in another video I don't really want to even get into the hold on I don't even whoa why am I not focusing 
at this point, I realized I'm not renewing my lease. Like, I th I was so depressed in this apartment. Like, this apartment definitely wasn't even a setback because it was something that it needed to happen, don't get me wrong. But I noticed, like, I need my own experience. I need my own every new everything outside of just, like, no. Like, I just needed a change. Like, I promise you. So, I had decided I'm going to give them a 30-day notice. Now, this 30-day notice, I sent them on August 3rd. So, this is my email to them. To whom it may concern. Hello, consider this a 30 day notice as I, Ricky Dorsey, will not be renewing my lease for apartment 2114 come September. Please let me know the day I have to be moved out by. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. So, this is gonna email me back and be like, I have received your notice to vacate. Please note your lease agreement. You are required to give 60 days notice. However, I want to ask why you have chosen not to renew your lease. Is there anything we can do to keep you? The lease agreement on file is, has an end date of September 12th. Looking forward to hearing back from you. Thank you. I said, thanks for getting back to me. I've been into the office multiple times last month before taking an extended vacation out of the country and they were closed. So I called and left voicemail messages. Apologies in my delay on the notice. I will not be renewing my lease due to the lack of urgency to fix things in my apartment that I have for months been complaining about to not only the new staff, but as well as the old staff. Now, when I say that, let me get into this. I have lived in this apartment for a year. When in this year, I've seen over four bitches in this leasing office, okay? Four bitches who I voiced my concerns to every single time. It was the first person I was with, the British bitch, who was there from the day one to the day end. Like, she literally was the last person I spoke to in that office. It was the black bitch, and then it was some random other person who I was just looking at, like, who are you, you know? And I just feel like in a year, it gets kind of hard for you to, like, really express how your concerns to every single person because it's like... That's a bitch every three months. Like these bitches not even making it through the probation period or something. Like what's going on? No, it, it was just it was just not it. Let me mention before I read all the things in my apartment that was pissing me off, as well as the shit that was in the amenities because I never listed here. My biggest issue is that y'all are charging me sixty dollars a month for amenities. Um, for example, the pool and the gym. The pool is closed no longer. I feel like you need to cut that in half because the only amenities you're offering is the gym. Why is the machines broken? There is a machine that's broken literally every single time you go in there. You get three machines. You get a treadmill, bit, you get a leg machine, some dumbbells, bit, and you get like the little thingy. Maybe even a bicycle. Maybe four machines. I feel like that's nothing compared to... I went into Key's gym. They had like Stairmasters. They had Yoga Masks. They had... The, my gym didn't have none of that shit. On top of that, the plates. Like, you know the plates that come to lift up the weights and go back up and down? Half those plates is broken. So when I was like working out and stuff, I had to go get a gym membership because I put in a request like, yo, this is broken. They're like, oh yeah, we've been told by multiple people. Like we just, the thing is we got to order the parts and then we got to order somebody to come fix it. Okay, do that. The fuck you're getting everybody's money in this a month and you have to pay an amenity fee. It's like I actually like, can you take the shit off? No, you can't actually because you still use it and we don't know if you're going to be using it or not. So yes, I'm going to have my friends over at the pool even though you tell me it's two per household. Nope, I'm going to have everybody at this pool. Now let's get back into what I said was wrong with my apartment. So I was like, for example, my dishwasher has been broken since December which makes the floor leak if I don't drain it. So remember when I was talking about how my dishwasher smelled weird, it was never fixed, blah, blah, blah. blah. That was the cause of the water leaking that I kept being like, where is all this water coming from? That was the cause of it, okay? The dishwasher would not drain, so all that water that would sit at the bottom would seep into the floor, which would come now, and, and it doesn't matter. It's like if I had no dishes in there, if I had dishes in there, the same thing happened. So, yeah, that was a reoccurring problem in my apartment that was not fixed since I moved in. So, I was like, which makes my floor leak if I don't drain it, my Washing machine has been broken since March. My guest and main bathroom shower has a constant buildup of mold, even though we don't use the guest bathroom often. It seems like mold prior to me moving in was painted over and not properly removed. And I, I will stand on that. Salem cleans the bathroom. So when Salem will clean the bathroom, I noticed he like, you know, he scrubs hard, and shit, but that's the point. You're supposed to clean the bathroom. I will hope you're scrubbing your bathroom hard. And but why as he's like scraping it every single time I would go in the shower and I would see like the gray it gave that he was cleaning off the paint eventually that like, it started becoming like gray underneath that white paint as he like scrubbed more and more and I realized that wasn't even paint that was fucking mold that was not a old gray color that the bathroom used to be like no bitch. that was literally mold so eventually like mold started like taking over and I'm not gonna lie a hack for y'all for all the people who have mold in their bathroom the hack is Clorox toilet bowl cleaner bleach, cling bleach. I promise you, get you some of that.
and not the bleach and the liquid bleach no that bathroom clean bleach put it right in the cracks and it cleared it right up like that wasn't a problem like you know i know how to move it but it's just like why i keep coming back i was like my water was also cold within five minutes due to the broken pipe that your staff was aware of since november and recently got it fixed in april that was basically the same time y'all like it's april mark bitches get the basement stuff sorry my expensive packages are also constantly lost slash stolen because they leave them outside whenever the main lobby is locked after hours now literally this has even like i dead ass was not able to dispute over like fifteen hundred dollars in charges from amazon i had to go through my bank because of the fact that amazon ended up locking my account would not give it back because when i moved into the apartment obviously i'm a new apartment owner i'm ordering mac to my apartment three hundred dollar plate sets which i'll get into that oh my god i forgot to mention that part i'll get into that um three hundred dollar plate sets and like that that i brought like you know stuff like that and they're losing it they lost my box spring how the f do you lose a box spring a box spring a box spring that big ass box you lost it yes they lost that shit. so i had to keep disputing everything from amazon i'm gonna go through amazon instead of my bank because i'm gonna get my money back faster with amazon amazon ended up telling me that i'm doing fraudulent shit and then close my account so that pissed me off so bad now i'm gonna say let me see like a bum like <laughs> my dishwasher yeah because the dishwasher wouldn't drain you know how water like mucky water ends up molding why i go to trinidad for my birthday i come back from trinidad bitch let me show you what my place it looked like in the dishwasher i threw everything away i threw it all away i don't give a f i just like i couldn't even look at it it was so gross i was like nah bro like this is insane mind you i was in trinidad for a week a week a week a week so like that's what happens when it's been a week because your dishwasher won't drain from the bottom so when i had washed those dishes put them in a the dishwasher blah, blah, blah came back it's like that i was like what i've had a dishwasher before yeah and they ain't never did that shit before so something about that threw me off the next thing i told her was the back lights on my stove have yet to be fixed so they don't light up unless i use a lighter and mind you the back ones don't even light up when i use a lighter only the front ones and your maintenance men are aware and they said they come back to fix it and never did the towel racks in both bathrooms have been broken since i moved in and my countertop has been peeling so i had to duct tape it which i already let you guys know and you have yet to fix as well as my hostile neighbors who bang on my door in the early morning slash night at any convenience or because i'm playing loud music even though it isn't coming from my apartment my most recent issue was the back door handles were broken oh my god i was forgetting so much in the video the most recent issue was that my back door handles were broken because it was off track and nobody came to fix it so like salem went to pull it one day even though we had submitted a request for it to be fixed multiple times because we always use the back door instead of the front door because it's the most convenient because remember the parking space is right there parking space grass our apartment it was more convenient they didn't come fix it so we had no back door we was like you know how you you you, you gotta stick your fingers to the glass i was like that's how we was opening it because it literally wouldn't open with the handles because there was no handle like it was just door so we would just hold it it just recently got fixed a couple days ago after filing three complaints and i still have no handle from the outside because like they when they came to fix it they didn't even give me a handle for the outside both outsides they just gave me a handle for the inside it is very disappointing as i pay a lot of money to rent over your property and as a first-time renter i'm overall unsatisfied by my experience my decision on moving out is final but thanks for asking she never responded to that right so now i'm getting ready to like leave and stuff move out process was pretty simple i didn't really talk to them the whole time i was moving out my apartment and i move out cool whatever why when i move out i get a balance that's like you have a 800 hundred dollar balance in your thing mind you, i'm still waiting on my deposit which i thought i paid like 1500 for a deposit they're telling me i only paid 500 so i went for my deposit to hit back it never did so I, when i came back from was i in puerto rico no i was in puerto rico in my apartment so where did i go in october when i was coming back from atlanta i stopped at my apartment building i was like yo why do i have a balance on my car like i have to drive my past my apartment to get to my house now and they were like, oh, it's because you didn't pay your last month rent and we're going to send it to collections if you don't pay it. So I was like, what? So I go in person and she's like, we don't charge you first and last. We only charge you first. And I was like, okay, so when is my deposit coming back? I'll pay the $800 now. When do I get my deposit? She was like, your deposit went towards that balance because you took too long to give it back. I was like, did, did I say that my, my money could go towards that deposit? So she was like, your money went towards your, your last month's rent. So basically, I ended up having to pay like fifteen hundred dollars clear it up clear it up my rent actually my fixated rent for that month because i left on like the 12th or the 13th was about like 13 maybe fourteen hundred dollars so when they put my deposit towards the fixated month rent of the last month rent 
it ended up coming out to around 800 to 900 dollars like i think it was like 889 or something so 900 dollars. i had to pay the lead out <laughs> Um, I hope that clears it up for y'all, cause I know you're probably gonna be like, you went from 15 to 8. No, let me get something straight. It was around $1,400 for my last month rent, cause it was fixated, and then they put my deposit without my permission towards that fixated rent. I also think it's very weird how I never was late on my rent, not once that entire time I was in that complex. But they couldn't call me to let me know like, hey, by the way, you didn't pay your last month rent. Like I'm gonna, oh, by the way, y'all, they didn't even know what was going on in that office. I'm gonna insert the clips right now of when I recorded. They was trying to tell me that I ended my lease early because my lease ended in March. Y'all don't even know my lease end. Yes, it do, it ended in September. So clock that she tried to school me and then she tried to school me again with the last month rent. But it's like, why didn't y'all call me and just tell me, like, hey, you have leftover balance? Like, y'all just tried to email me that y'all was going to send it to collections. Like, that quick, though, when y'all got y'all rent every month on time? Oh, okay. Oh, I so it seems to me that you have not submitted any payment for the 12 days that you were here. Okay. Um, there's so many things. Uh, actually, you didn't get charged. Um, you left your lease way before it's expiring. Your lease expires March of next year. Mm -hmm. And you gave insufficient notice. My lease doesn't end in March. It ends in September. Oops. And I was told that it was... I, I signed a 12-month lease. Mm -hmm. It was for September 13th or September 12th. I can't remember. It's one of those dates. Yeah, 12 okay. months. Maybe there was some like misentry here. Let me open up your actual lease. But regardless of that, though, we did not receive a 60 day notice, which you didn't get charged for. We didn't okay. charge you, but just to let you know, you could have gotten, we could have charged you. Okay, for I that. submitted. Um, I did submit. It was like, I think it was more than 30, but it was less than 60. But I still let you guys know that, like, I had uh, the reasons for, like, not just renewing it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, I see your lease um, expiring in September. But the cause of your balance is solely based on the, the fact that you moved out September 12th. And you did not pay for those 12 days. So, my first and last wasn't included in the deposit that no, I No, we submitted. never make, we never take a uh, oh, okay, rent. Okay. Yeah, so whatever deposit you had on file, let me just double check how much it was. It was credited towards that balance, it was 500. It was uh, applied to your balance. I paid, brought it down to 873. I paid more than 500 when I moved in. You're probably, in you're probably thinking of the prorated rent plus okay. the secure deposit, it's gonna be way more than 500, mm -hmm. but the actual secure deposit is just 500. Okay, do you have the... um? receipt of the security deposit you received i do have it on your lease and i can print out your ledger because okay. if you scroll all the way up uh -huh. you i think you do have the ledger in here okay so the security deposit is deposited towards the my remaining balance of your remaining balance right now is 873.10 so basically your balance just at 500 to the 810 Okay, I see here. So uh, it was thirteen seventy three and ten cents. The security deposit was applied, brought it down to eight seventy three and ten cents. Okay, so that was just last month's rent. Okay, I was just making sure because I thought that it was first and last when I paid when I was out of state. Okay, thank you so much. I, the reason why I didn't stop paying my rent and I asked my spam page so many times what I should do because I was just like, I don't know what to do. My mom always kept telling me, stop paying rent and then they're going to give you a 30 day notice and then you're going to, no, I don't want none of that on my record. So then now when it's time for me to get into another apartment, I don't have no apartment. My mom don't even do shit like that. So it's like, why would I listen to you and then do that? Like, I'm not going to stop paying my rent after I pay rent every single month on time. No problem. Like, why would I now? up myself at least now i have renters history you feel me like i can go get an apartment somewhere else because i have renters history with another apartment complex so when i went in she was like we didn't even charge you uh early breaking your lease fee because i was like you couldn't charge me that i had the video recording obviously i was being respectful but you gotta keep it professional in the professional areas but yeah y'all that was a story talking about my apartment and that's why i got the fuck up out of there because it was just very annoying it was very heartbreaking to not be able to renew my lease because it would have been amazing to like really have a better mental health space and still be in my apartment and whatever um but it was time for me to get the fuck out of there i don't like living in connecticut anyway so it's kind of like i'm paying three thousand dollars a month 
for rent. I don't like it here. I don't want to live here. No. So, yeah, I would rather do that somewhere else. And that was just that. Like, literally, that's just that. I would just rather do it somewhere else. When I was moving, though, these fuck-ass movers going to fucking lose all the screws to my bed. They lost all the screws to my bed. My bed is not put together properly. And then I don't know where any of the screws are for my bed. Especially because I wasn't here. I was in my apartment, like, getting the... I didn't clean nothing either. They knew better than to charge me all them they knew better they knew better i didn't clean when i left the apartment i left it just regular i left the i did plaster over like the mini holes and stuff that i put in the wall but i did not like mop and wipe down no i'm not doing all of that like f out of here i knew i wasn't doing it because of the fact that like i'm not wiping down no washing machines y'all need to get rid of this shit. anyway like i hope the next person gets new everything because it was so and trifling like everything was just trifling about that apartment and i definitely liked it because it was like a new area a new environment you know i liked the area that it was in it was around the corner from like mad like we had everything that we needed around the corner but i don't know i just feel like it wasn't worth the money so now i was like on to bigger and better things and i just can't wait to get in a new apartment next year because that is the goal to have a new apartment a new everything a new space a new environment where i can just be free so yeah that was my story time and i will see y'all in the next one hopefully i get this video out to y'all today it is 9 a.m right now so hopefully i could go edit out this video and have it to y'all by at least four o'clock kisses i'll see y'all in the next one bye stay beautiful and stay blessed